Okay, so let's go. Thanks for joining the Apple free preview <coughs> session today. Uh, for those that expect a first demo, we don't have a first demo, it's just about presenting the concept today, but I think uh, we will have some detailed discussion after this presentation to check what is your opinion about this approach and yeah, maybe how we can improve it and collaborate in this next version. For those that don't know me, let me introduce myself. My name is Manuel Pistner. I am founder and CEO of Bright Solutions. I am passionate about Struple since 2007. And we develop mostly business applications with Drupal and also combined with mobile apps. So just for me to know, the guys in the red shirt, they may keep their arms down. <laughs> who already knows AirPal? Uh, and who already installed it on a server? Uh, okay. And who works in a company that has more than 10 uh, team members? Uh, almost. Okay. So, first I want to give a short introduction what is Apple today. Uh, the first idea was to develop one business application for some of the development companies and for service providing companies to manage their whole business. It should be one application that covers all the small applications that you usually use in your daily business. Um, but by using these small applications, you are not able to measure your results, to get some reports out of it, to report your projects with all the data that are related to them. It is based on Drupal, it's open source, you can download it, you can extend it, and it's mostly for people that uh, have the desire to work in a very structured way. It's a very complex system, so it covers, as I told, almost every process, almost every data structure that you need in a daily service providing business. Uh, so it has lots of code, lots of custom code, of course. It has many modules. It has heavy features with heavy functionality, mostly based on nodes, because when we started developing Apple in, uh, based on Drupal 7, uh, the Entity API was not so mighty as it is today, so we decided just to uh, build most of the functionality with nodes and started only later using the Entity API. So it's not that flexible that it could be right now, but it does this one specific use case very well. So these are just uh, the components that are included. Maybe I missed some, but these are the main uh, components that are useful for these business processes. Yeah, and we wanted to show the power of Drupal to develop applications because I'm convinced that Drupal is not only a good CMS, it has even more power to build real applications, real web applications, where you have integration with other systems, where you have all the functionality that you need to provide the basic layers of each application just by configuration and in general without custom code. And therefore it's a framework, I think, that is um, mostly claimed to be a CMS, but the real strength from my point of view is in developing real business applications or real web applications. And um, yeah, many people that use it, they are telling us this is exactly what they were looking for because there is no other tool that you can use that is free, that is open source, um, where you know how to customize it and where you have all these things that you really need for your business and not only small single tools that you cannot connect with each other. So there are some people that really run their business on Apple that are similar to our company that really have more than 10 employees and that really see the value in these things, that really see the value in having all these tools integrated in one solution and that have a benefit from getting these reports out of it. But I know that you developers or troopers might feel like this. We removed some of your tools that you really like. We see that you want to use the flexibility that Apple, I mean, that Drupal has and provides by its API. But we already use this flexibility and put it into configuration. If you want to change it, you need to change this configuration and it's hard to uh, 
apply updates to a later version. But we know that you want to start with less. You want to start building your own application with a framework. But you don't want to see this complex system and you don't want such a real complex system to start from scratch to develop your maybe own business application. So we decided in future more to focus on a tool set where you have all these components that are currently missing in Drupal but that you need to develop such business applications to for example provide workflows such as creating offers to creating invoices, creating orders and all these things. So this will be more a framework in the future than one concrete solution and the concrete solution will be based on the framework of course as a one concrete showcase. Yeah, and then you got from the sandbox to rule the world, I hope, to build your own business application and to be uh, able to use the tools that Drupal pro provides together with Apple as a business application framework. And while visiting many Drupal camps and Drupal cons, I had lots of discussions and talks with other developers and they always told me one thing, that we should use the existing and that we should reuse the code that is already there to integrate with all these other systems. And you know, as a developer, you always think, yes, we can do this, and these are good modules, but it's easier to develop this in custom code, it's more performant, and all these things, but this is not what makes Drupal a very good framework, because it's the flexibility by configuration that makes Drupal uh, that is the USP of Drupal, that is the unique selling point of Drupal, that what makes Drupal real awesome compared to other frameworks and other CMS systems. So our focus will be in the next steps to reduce complexity and to integrate with all the modules that are really there so that you can use it and configure your own applications easily. The main future goal is, as I already told before, is to not provide so many tools because the framework is different from a concrete application, but to provide some small modules that integrate well with the existing Drupal infrastructure and where you will be able to use it as you want, to maybe not use activities or customer data in the way we do with Apple, but exactly in the way you want and therefore we want to separate some apps that we currently have in Apple such as project management, such as a CRM system, such as an invoicing system or a document management app and separate them from the framework structure and from the Apple core. And in general this is the sales process or the main business process that we want to support in the future and where, I may say, all business software is based on. Because first of all, you have a contact to customer and you want to add this customer contact to your CRM system. After that, you will document the whole communication. Everything that was written with the customer, where you had a conversation by email or telephone call or even a personal meetup, you want to add to your CRM system not to forget what you were discussing and even to make it transparent to other employees or other team members so they can also follow the sales process. And after that, if the customer gave you exactly the information that you need to create an offer for your customer, you will provide an offer for your customer where you offer all the services and all uh, maybe projects or products that the customer requested. You have to add the payment modality, so the customer needs when he has to pay for what. And after that, if you agree with your customer, he places the order and this will be another item, another entity in the Apple system where you can work with. Uh, after that, after the order has been placed, uh, you need to deliver what the customer ordered. That means you either have to produce this product or you already got it in your, uh, you got it already ordered or produced and you want just to deliver it to your customer. This is uh, the fulfillment of the order. And after that, you will create an invoice 
and you hopefully will get paid. That means you will add payments to this invoice. These are the general steps and all other things such as document management, project management, calendar, team management, these are all plugins that can be based on top of this infrastructure and that will extend the system but they are not necessarily part of the Apple core because uh, small freelancers or small businesses, they don't need these heavy management tools. They just need something to create their offers, to write their invoices and to monitor their payments. And this is where we want to focus on and to give you tools where you can extend it according to your needs. So we really understood what all these developers and all these Drupalers were talking to us. And this is why we decided to base our new system on some awesome stuff that is already existing in the Drupal community. This is Drupal Commerce, this is CRM Core, and this is uh, lots of contrib these are uh, lots of contrib modules that you can use for basic application infrastructure. So, as in no other system, for example, we have modules to create data modules such as entities and nodes. We have modules to create data queries. Everybody knows Fuse module. We have modules to implement business logic and extend them. This is the rules module, and we have modules to provide functionality for. Um, layout and HTML output, this is mostly panels, panels everywhere and some feed formatters. Yeah, and I'm sure that if we reuse all this existing awesome stuff on Drupal.org, we can provide such a framework that integrates well and that you can extend and that develops itself when Drupal develops itself. Uh, who knows Drupal Commerce? Almost everybody, but not everybody. Okay, and uh, CRM Core is a little bit more unknown. Okay, so CRM Core in general is a entity-based framework to provide entities for contacts, to provide entities for relationships between contacts, and to provide uh, activities. Activities means you have a conversation with a customer, personal meeting, a phone call, an email, and I had contact with this maintainer and we realized that this is exactly the approach that we should follow in Apple because we also have in Apple right now uh, contacts and relations and activities but all these items are nodes. That means they are less flexible, they are less performant and they are less uh, integrated with all the other modules. And CRM Core does this in a perfect way. About Drupal Commerce, yes, this is uh, in general, the same approach, it's also entity-based. I may say this was the first framework that provided such an approach that really integrated with, I may switch to Drupal Commerce, that really integrated with all these other contract modules such as rules and made heavy usage of rules to provide all this logic with checkout and with price calculation. And this is exactly what we implemented in the existing Apple, but this does not make sense to code it uh, in custom modules because we lose the flexibility to customize it to our to our own currency, to our uh, local law, to our local, local economic law. Of course, I think the question is easy answered. Why we focus on using Contrib instead of doing some uh, implementation with custom code? because it's just more flexible and we already have these total application layers that I've told before and it makes no sense to develop uh, all these existing things uh, maybe with less functionality but with less flexibility maybe even with more performance but such a tool is not about performance it's about processes, about flexibility and we don't need high performance with such a tool um, and I think even if we rely on these existing modules, the performance will be good because they are already proven and they are used in many other existing projects. So where we will focus on is just to help to improve Contrib and to help to extend Contrib with the function functionality that we missed um, and that we did by custom code in our current Apple installation. So this will help to um, yeah, to increase maybe the number of modules, but also to 
provide some patches and to extend these existing modules. For example, the CRM core module. Um, it, we may provide some other activities of CRM core. We may provide some other uh, contacts of CRM core, I mean bundles. And in commerce, I think most of you know, there is a bundle for orders, there is a bundle for uh, for not for contacts, but for addresses, it's called the commerce profile, and this can be used to create bundles, um, to provide offers, and to provide invoices, what is currently not done. And I think it's very necessary not just to create an invoice as a PDF based on an order, because it needs to be a separate data set, so we will provide another bundle of the order entity, and this bundle will be on the one side, an offer bundle where we can have one data set that stores the offer independent of the final order and that provides also a bundle to create an invoice also in a separate data set to separate it from the order and so we reuse the existing but just extend it with some other bundles that have some new properties maybe some new fields but they integrate with all these commerce rules and with all the contract that exists for commerce very well. So what needs to be done is just maybe to provide also some missing contract modules such as modules to have dependent data operation. There is no one that exists right now to create a reusable theme that can be used for business applications but a very lightweight one and Maybe it should be also responsive to be usable by mobile smartphones. And uh, we want to separate the Apple platform from the concrete Apple distribution, from this concrete solution for service providing companies. And very important is to quit all these relationships and dependencies between these modules that we have. Because uh, right now we have lots of modules, lots of features, and they are all mostly dependent on each other because it's, it was not important just to um, deactivate one feature or one module and use all the other stuff but it was more important to have this complete solution and uh, with a framework of course it is absolutely necessary to deactivate some modules that you don't need but all the other system needs to run and finally beside this workflow that I was presenting it is important that you can measure the data and the goals of your business that you have a data set for the goals of your uh, sales team for example that you have a data for the goals of your projects and this will be done in Apple Core where we provide two new budgets uh, three new budgets one budget will be for uh, planning and one uh, entity will be for um, output, for example, for sales output or for production output or whatever kind of output you want to measure. And on top of these entities, you can put some some reporting tools, maybe existing reporting tools, or can use uh, views to aggregate some data and visualization module to visualize your your data always compared with your with your goals. I think in general this is what people in a much bigger thing call big data today. Uh, so we want to provide only these basic entities and it will be able, for example, with frameworks such as Fluxcraft to connect other applications also to AirPal. So you will be able not only to use the Apple project management but any other existing solution just by connecting them with services. This is the approach that we have shown in the SharePoint session where we connected Drupal with SharePoint. And exactly this is the approach with Apple to connect, for example, some other web services, some other software as a services for time tracking, for project management. There are quite a lot and everybody likes to use the existing. And all of these applications provide interfaces and web services. So it's possible and with Fluxcraft may be easy to just connect them. Who knows Fluxcraft, by the way? Okay, for all the others that don't know Fluxcraft. It's mm, a framework where you can integrate external services with rules. On the example of uh, Twitter, for example, there is a Flux Twitter module 
where you have events such as if a new tweet appears on your timeline, you will get a roots event and you can work with this data, with all the data of this tweet, and you can, for example, uh, send a tweet to Facebook or send, send a post to Facebook. Or if you are using Apple, you can create a task whenever a new tweet appears on your timeline and do something with the task. For example, assign it to somebody else to answer on this tweet and track the time there and all the things. So this will be possible and I think this is where the future goes of application integration. So, besides providing this workflow and besides providing this flexible application framework, we want to be able to connect not only modules, but we also want to be able to connect existing applications and to connect this data that is important for your business and that is important to measure and to report. Yeah, what is the benefit? So, in general, it gets much more flexible and it is, uh, you can use it how you know the Drupal modules and the Drupal ecosystem. It will connect Apple with other existing applications, so you have less effort to reuse the existing. You don't have to build everything from scratch. You don't have to tell your team, oh, we need to change our whole system, so you will not be able to use the tools that you are using right now. You will only spend some effort to connect these tools and to decipher a business logic that will report the data and put the data into the system and keeps them synchronized. And it will be a, uh, you will be able to customize Apple only with Drupal standard tools. What's the benefit for Drupal? So, as I told before, I'm convinced that Drupal should more focus on being an application framework instead of just being a, a CMS. Of course, we manage content and the origin is in managing content or community content. But today it has its real strength in providing all the application layers such as data and querying and connecting interfaces from other applications. So I think this is a good use case to show what you really can do with Drupal except content management. So we will also take some time and extend the functionality of existing frameworks such as commerce and such as CRM core and uh, connect these uh, with each other and of course we already started with the development because we don't want to wait till the release of Drupal 8. This was our first thought that we should wait till Drupal 8 will be released but uh, at the end of last year it seemed that it will even take one year more and this was too much time that we need to wait, so we decided right now to base it on um, Drupal 7 to get the first development snapshot. I think it will be in about two months. Uh, but I don't want to promise. Um, so, yeah, I think this will be very soon and it can be very soon used or reviewed. And if you want, you of course, welcome to contribute to these modules. and. Yeah, right now I would love to answer some questions about this if there are some. So which, yes. <laughs> Because it's in fact a different use case. Apple, what it is right now in the current version, is one fixed solution that works almost perfect for, uh, for service providing companies and software development companies, whereas the Apple 3 is more framework that don't has all these heavy functionalities such as employee overtime reporting and all these things. You can build it if you want, but it's not there. Yes. Yes, 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 exactly. But you have to decide which use case you want to cover at your customer. The one use case is he exactly needs what is there, and he needs project management, CRM, invoicing, reports, employee management, and all the things. Or you want to give your customer an application framework where he can, for example, customize this application according to his own needs. And uh, if you provide this current Apple version and you want to extend it, of course, you as a Drupal developer, you can extend it, but nobody else can do this. 
So this is a very different use case. We will of course continue developing the current version because our company completely works on this current Apple version and without it we yeah, lose our business. We cannot work without it. So we will continue with this, of course. <coughs> yes? I'm not sure, I didn't really get it. It will still be a distribution as well available? Okay. Yeah, there will be some, some modules. These are the core modules or the framework modules. And there will be one distribution that provides a very lightweight showcase where you can just, uh, if we scroll back to this um, main business case where you can put in all your contacts. Ah, uh, some slides ago. Your contacts, your activities, where you can uh, put in your offers, your orders, and create your invoices. Ah, it was at the very beginning. This one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this will be, um, so you know, Triple Commerce provides lots of this stuff already because you have an order, but you don't have offers and you don't have invoices as a separate data set. And uh, this can be done with commerce by just configuring it in the right way. And this is what this distribution does. So you will have a very lightweight installation profile and you will be able to install it, I hope, on uh, even a server with 128 uh, megabytes. <laughs> And um, yeah, in this case, you as a freelancer or small company can work with this use case and extend it if you want, but nothing else will be in this distribution, not at the first time. Some other questions? Who uses uh, such a similar tool for managing the whole company? Okay, which one? Uh, so you build uh, your own on Drupal. Uh, very nice to see that uh, others even see that Drupal is able to do this. Okay, nobody else uses one tool to get reports, data, or whatever. How how do you do project management? Is there another approach that I don't know? Do you do project management in general? <laughs> problems do you want to have solved by using these or are you 100% happy with the situation? Not 100% but the world is Almost. So uh -huh. I would have to look at what I already have been sold out also that didn't work for me at that moment but yeah. I'm hoping I would have okay. It's not included in this Apple, but in the existing Apple it is, yes. It's the contracts. Yeah. You can do this. You can, uh, you can manage your hosting contracts or service contracts to get a payment every year, but provide a budget, uh, hourly budget each month, for example. Um, I talked to Robert Douglas yesterday and he told that there is a new module for commerce. It's called, uh, how is it called? Ah, yes, it's called uh, something with license. And uh, with this system, I think you are able to build your recurring payments, even with this structure, because it's yeah native commerce, native Drupal. Yeah, there was another question. You? Yes. Yeah, well, um, I have similar setup with uh, oh. multiple uh, um, software tools. I mm -hmm. use. Um, I have a Redmine for project management, which uh, tracks issues and mm -hmm. um, time. And yeah. for One tool to handle it all, so I don't have to search for my data in different yeah. applications. I need something to um, track it uh, on the go, so it mm -hmm. should be a mobile, some sort of mobile application out there. Mm -hmm. um, and for now, the most annoying part is um, automation, which yes. lacks completely. So there should be some sort of framework. But there is already one framework, you know, my S-Friend rules, so you 
okay, yeah. you can automate everything that you want. And exactly what you're telling is uh, that we want to have Apple as such a business data hub. You connect, either you use the existing applications or uh, that are um, in the Drupal, in the Apple distribution, or you connect other applications, but they put their data into your Apple. And with this data, you can make automation process. This is the, yeah, this is the most valuable thing, I guess. Something else? No. Okay, so we have some posters because uh, I and many others of the team took the time to create an overview and the mind map of um, Drupal modules that provide this um, application layer such as data query, such as um, data structure and there you will also see how you can connect your data to other systems, how you can consume or uh, access data from other systems. So if you want some of these posters, I think it's uh, just nice as looking at a map and deciding where you want to go for holiday next. It's uh, similar. <laughs> so feel free just to get some at our uh, Bright Solutions uh, stand or take one here. Also, we have some t-shirts, they are also free. <laughs>